Today's video is about what to do at the end of your car lease. I recently had to decide whether I was gonna keep my car or get another car. My Toyota Prius three-year lease had expired. And stick around, at the end of the video, I'll tell you whether I kept the car or I let the car go. Everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy coming to you live from Mexico City, Mexico. I had to get a little work done on my teeth, so I decided to come down to Mexico City. Got it done yesterday. Got a new crown and a filling. Feeling pretty good. Ready to chomp down on some steak. That's what I'm thinking about doing, actually. So, your, your lease expires. My lease came to an end. And this raises the question, lease versus purchase. Now, what I want to do is sh share with you some factors which I have considered in the past when determining whether to lease or purchase a car. So, we're going to go to a screenshot right now. So, this is a calculation I did three years ago when I was first getting my Prius. I knew I was going to be a full-time driver and I wanted to first figure out how much depreciation would be if I had my own car. So I went to Car Gurus and I looked up uh, two different cars, same make and model, one that had 90,000 miles and one that had about 30,000 miles. And I could see that for that 60,000 miles, I depreciated the car $7,000 or approximately 600 uh, 600 dollars per month. So then I compared the purchase price of a new car to a lease and uh, added the depreciation to the purchase and then insurance I had another 200. So my monthly cost if I purchased the car was $1,233 whereas if I leased the car I was only going to spend 860 for a savings each month of $373 which is over $4,000 a year. So it definitely made more financial sense to to lease the car. So the lease is up. I knew I was somewhere in March, but I started to get a phone call from this company called Digital Dog, and they're an auto recovery company, which is hired by Exchange Leasing, and they were asking when they could come to tow my car away. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, I need some time to think. So I asked them if I could have the pickup in four weeks, and they were generous, and they said, yes, that would be fine, and we set a date. And they gave me four weeks to figure out what was I gonna do. So with this new situation, there are some new numbers for me to evaluate. The first one was, how much would I have to pay to get this car and would it be worth it? Well, so what I did is I went to Kelly Blue Book and I found out that a Toyota Prius, 2013 Toyota Prius with 220,000 miles in fair condition uh, had a Blue Book of about $2,500. And I thought, wow, for $2,500, I could buy this car, spend a few thousand to really fix it up and uh, have, have a good car for no more monthly payment, right? Just buy the car outright. However, when I, when I called Exchange Leasing and I said, I'd like to buy the car for $2,500, they said, hold on. Uh, we do not negotiate, and the only price we can sell you the car for is the price negotiated in the contract uh, when you first got the car, which was $5,000. Still a pretty low price, but something inside me wouldn't allow me to buy a car <laughs> at twice its value, even though the amount was very low. So I don't understand why exchange leasing was so adamant about the price, but uh, they held their ground because I asked several times, I contacted different uh, customer support people and they said it was gonna be $5,000. So now about this time, the fair car rental program came online through Uber. And this allowed me to try out a car for a couple weeks, see how I liked it. The numbers were very comparable. I was spending about 200 a week for a car with unlimited miles with my Prius, and I would be spending about 200 a week for a car with unlimited miles with the fair car rental program. So that was kind of a wash. The next thing I looked at is the comfort of the car. And in this case, the Elantra uh, really won me over quite a bit. So my final decision, let this picture tell a thousand words. It was goodbye Toyota Prius, hello <laughs> Elantra. So there went my car. And I'm, I just wanna share with you that it was a rather emotional experience letting that car go. I did the numbers and for the amount of time I was in the car, that would be staying in your car for seven and a half months solid, 24 hours a day. I had 20,000 people come in and out of that car. So it was not easy to just let it go. You know, I even I had a few trips with my daughter that we took uh, within California. But 
had to let it go, let it go. And uh, I took out the, 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 the floor mats from the Prius and I put them in, in the Elantra and I guess that kind of made it the transfer a little easier. So there it goes. That was my final decision. Now I'm driving the Hyundai Elantra. So in summary, um, your situation will be completely different. Uh, are you driving full-time or part-time? What kind of car are you looking at? What's gonna be your monthly payment? Do you have a lease uh, option available where you can get unlimited miles? How important is the comfort of your car? You know, you can drive a Mercedes-Benz or you can drive a Ford Fiesta. One costs a lot more, one's got a lot more comfort. What's more valuable to you? Saving the money or the comfort and the, and the status and, and the different things that come with a more expensive um, car? These are all things to consider and I hope this has helped you to kind of put all the pieces uh, together into a little formula so you can make a sound decision. Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. I'm inviting you to join this channel. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have a comment, make a comment. But by all means, join our channel. If you're a ride share driver, um, you want to stay on top of all the current news, the different tips, the techniques, and it's all right here at The Ride Share Guy. You'll go out and have a great day and be safe out there. Bye-bye.